Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about the most controversial aspect of my book, Silent Reckoning. Now this is going to be a major spoiler, so if you don't want the story spoiled if you're planning on reading the book in the future, then I would suggest uh, skipping over this video now. And now it's not going to spoil the entire ending, but it's definitely going to uh, spoil a major uh, uh, plot twist uh, in the story. Um, because in the book, the character of Jeannie Anderson is a silent movie actress who is struggling with uh, transitioning to sound um, at the end of the 1920s. The story takes place in 1929. And she is um, basically combating this uh, critic, this uh, movie critic, who is very disparaging of her, and he's basically become her uh, arch enemy in a certain way. Well, Towards the end of the book, it is uh, revealed that that this critic, when, when she was a teenager, uh, raped her because he was um, dating her mother at the time and almost became her, her stepfather. And I, I reveal towards the end of the story that um, she became pregnant with his child and that she ultimately had a back alley abortion, a termination of the child, which... Uh, the story takes place in 1929, but that would have occurred in, I think, 1912 or 13, um, when, of course, the such procedures, even in New York City, were uh, illegal. And, um, but basically, the story is about, uh, the, is about how she is grappling with that, and when it's finally revealed, she regrets her, her decision to have the abortion. In fact, she says, in, uh, if I can find the page, and I should have had that ready, um, I'm going to find it, I'm going to find it, okay, now it's up. She says here, what do you want me to say, that I murdered my child? All right, I'll say it, I murdered my child, I fucking murdered my child. They would be 17 now. I took away their precious years of youth, desperate to conceal the shame that was forced upon me, upon my body, upon my soul. I wanted to rid myself of a poisonous seed, I suppose I did. But sometimes even venomous roots can blossom into to exquisite gardens. Right in the palm of my hand, I had a jewel worth more than all the treasures in heaven. And for the price of autonomy, I threw it away, thus becoming a slave. Now, um, she's so how I interpret it is that she is basically a good person who made a, a, a poor decision, a, a mistake. And now, of course, one could also interpret it as that she made the right decision and she's a victim of, of the time period and system in which she lives in. That's a perfectly valid interpretation, but my interpretation as the author is she's a good person who made a tragic mistake. And so the story is very nuanced in that way, and of course it also deals with uh, how uh, women were treated in that time period and how their voices often were not heard. And so it, it deals with a lot of uh, complex uh, social themes. And so again, I'm not I'm not trying in the story at least to pontificate about it. And, and even there, there's a there's a section in um, in the in a flashback where where she she uh, where she has the abortion, where she's defending her decision uh, to have it, and uh, but then ultimately she comes to uh, to change her mind uh, in the future. And so um, again, so I, I, again originally I was going to have it where. Um, where uh, it was going to be a consensual relationship and she was going to uh, have the abortion to save her career. But I thought that that ultimately would make her less sympathetic, so I decided to make the relationship uh, non-consensual. Um, but ultimately, the story deals with a lot of complex and, and nuanced themes, and you can ultimately make up your mind about it.